guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jolly and I make art videos. So I'm so sorry if you can see a lot of like mess in my background and also at the side. Um, usually when I paint on the floor, well I always paint on the floor, but whenever I'm uh, painting, I have a lot of mess on the floor, a lot of art materials everywhere. So I did not bother to clean it anymore because I feel like it's the reality and like it's okay to show you guys that you know when you're painting things can get messy when you're using different art materials so yeah and for today's video um we are going to paint a fall theme um floral wreath okay so let's start painting and i'm using the prima watercolor pad here and i'm using for the brush, I'm using the black velvet, so I have um, 6 and 8. And then we are going to use Art Philosophy, a watercolor confection, so I'm going to use Odyssey. And then later on, I might use other sets. So let's start with um, kind of a red-orange flower. So I'm using this color called Maui. And I think I'd like to add a bit of the color room. Okay, then um, I'm just going to put some flowers over here. Okay, so you can also um, draw a circle so that it's easier to um, create uh, a round shape wreath. So I think we can create like a rose. So we are just going to keep the sides quite loose. Then I'll just go back to the center later. And let's use um, kind of a yellow orange um, flower over here. Okay, so I think I'll get the yellow from the classic set because it's a more vibrant yellow. And gonna add a bit of orange. Okay, for the center, I'm gonna add this color room. It's a reddish pink color. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a bit of brown to this red color. I'm gonna put it right here in the center of this rose. Let's add some more orange over here. Then let's add a dark center again. I'm gonna use this brown color. So 
So at this point, I'm going to add some leaves, but I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to the green color. And I think I'd also like to add a bit of orange. So it's a little brown. Um, let's add a bit more orange. Just wanted some like warm colored leaves. Okay, so I'm just painting with water. Um, I think I should have used pencil a while ago to create the round shape. So sometimes I do this just to eyeball the shape of the wreath. I just use water. And then we should need to add something over here. But I think we need to finish the wreath. And I'm going to put some... Um, um, just some brown stems. Um, okay, so let's add them now. So just paint some short and quick strokes. So it doesn't have to be like a straight line. You can play around with, uh, with it and play also with the color value some can be a lighter shade of um, brown some can be um, a darker shade so I'm gonna use the brown from the classic set So usually, um, when I'm painting wreaths, they don't look um, round at first. So I try to build up the wreath bit by bit so that I don't overwork it. And then I'll add some like yellow-orange color. Gonna add a little bit of this orange and okay that's too orange so let's just move back to this color and then I'm just gonna add these um, berry looking thing okay then let's change the shades it can be yellow orange or orange or red orange and we are just going to put it all around this area okay so we are now about almost eight minutes into this video and i just realized that i forgot to plug in the mic so i'm hoping that the audio that i um recorded a while ago using my phone was good enough okay and then i'd like to connect those um dots let's get the brown color I'm going to switch to a smaller brush so that it's easier. Then let's add some more circles here.
Okay, I'm going to connect them to the reef. And then we are going to add more texture, more wood over here. You can add some stems sticking out. And then let's add some more leaves. Let's just add a bit of orange to our green just to give that fall feel. bit more here then we can add a few leaves over here um, I think I want a, an orange orangey leaf Okay, we're almost done. Okay, I think I'm gonna add one more here. Then another one over here. I'm just going to extend this part. Okay, so we are done. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspired you to paint your own floral wreath. And if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye!